had already achieved my project plan challenge target of 150 beauty products to empty in 2019 back in November with three to spell. Let's see how I've done in December. First up, the makeup benefit Gimme Brow Gel in, I think it was shade five. Anyway, it's dried up and gone. And, you know, I've, you know, wrung out every bit of product that I could possibly get from this one. Will I repurchase? I have about four or five, I think, backups. Very nice, ideal if you want a very natural, everyday wearable brow. One more makeup product. Bourgeois found sealer. All right, all gone. Uh, reviewed, I will link up the review in the description box below. It was also a part of my worst of 2019, which, you know, in retrospect, I mean, Bourgeois is closing share sales in the UK, and I feel very sorry about that. And uh, I mean, they've been closing counters around the world. It's not just the UK, and I'm extremely saddened by that. However, the fact is that this was a very greasy product. So how did I manage to finish it off? By using it as an under eye concealer because I have dry under eye areas. So it wasn't too bad to use as a concealer. That said, this one is marketed as a found sealer, a foundation and concealer, one that will suffice for both. It didn't need to do that. On me, it's an important foundation because I have oily skin and this made me extremely greasy. So if we go to skincare next, cleanser. Emma Hardy, Amazing Face, Moringa Cleansing Balm, all gone. Possibly my joint favourite or second favourite cleansing balm. This used to be my absolute favourite cleansing balm, but this year I discovered the Huda Beauty Makeup Remover Balm. And I find that this one emulsifies better and does a better job removing waterproof eye makeup faster. So uh, Emma Hardy remains my second favourite. Emma Hardy is more satisfying in terms of texture, it's more, it's more luscious, but that one emulsifies sooner and gets the job done faster. So favourite Huda Beauty followed by Emma Hardy. That one's made in Japan, it's Japanese makeup. I mean skincare, sorry. Right, one perfume, Gucci Premier. Sorry, I've been swatching and doing videos all day. All gone. Nothing. Uh, I was inspired to use up a full perfume by somebody, one of you, who has been doing this project plan journey along with me for the better part of this year. She's been doing it on Instagram. Lucy Zignerska. I mean, I hope I'm not mispronouncing your name. So, Lucy, thank you so much for being a part of this journey for you know, taking this bath along with me for inspiring me to finish a whole perfume. I would never, never, never have finished a whole perfume if I hadn't seen your amazing empties video, empties photos on Instagram. So Lucy does regular Instagram photos of her empties, and each time I've seen all these amazing perfumes, and I'm thinking, right, I have too many perfumes. I'm going to use one up. It isn't going to be one spritz of this one day, and then I'm not going to see this again for the next six months. That's not how it's going to be around here. So I chose a perfume after careful thought, you know, I mean, I shouldn't get bored with it, right? And I also chose two more to rotate with. And with three at hand, I actually managed to finish up one sooner than I would have with uh, no backups. Actually, I'd have been bored mindless with wearing the same perfume all the time. Another cleansing product, Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. It is one of those biface products, you know, that you shake and then you take out on a hot and pan. Uh, remove your waterproof eye makeup. Decent, did the job. Drugstore product, will I buy again? Probably. I have enough bioderma now. Once I run out, I'll think about it. Toner is next. Hadalabo Bokuchu. This is their moist toning lotion, the, the hyaluronic lotion. Will I repurchase? I bought a 400ml super sized bottle. Absolutely love this. Will never, ever, ever, ever be without this. Hadalabo. Iconic, hot product. Changed the story of my skin beautifully. Love it. And uh, this bottle lasted me about four months, I think. Three or four months, I think it was. So just telling you, this is 170 mils. Serum is next. Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is their lactic acid serum, not the glycolic one. I prefer the lactic to the glycolic. Unfortunately, uh, the lactic now only sells, I think, the United States, I believe, not outside of the US because of regulations and things like that. 
Anyway, I won't be able to buy this in if I wanted to. It was the best lactic serum I've ever seen. All gone. No, all not gone. Bloody hell. So I've just wasted one use of this one. Next product is a sheet mask from Farmstay. Snail mask came along with the Yes Tile. I think it was the advent calendar. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, it was a gift with price. It's from Yes Tile because, yeah, it's from Yes Tile. I haven't ordered any K Beauty from yesterday in ages so yeah i won't be repurchasing because i no longer use sheet masks this packaging is just landfill you can't repurpose this so if you do like your sheet masks my advice would be to get those pellets right uh that come open and then you put them in a tumbler and you know pop in your favorite essence until uh, the pellet expands and then you open it that's your sheet mask that has less wastage it's more sustainable it's more eco-friendly so if you do love your sheet mask please go for those uh please consider going for those instead of these i mean i don't want to sound preachy like a virtue signaler you have to make the decision i can only tell you what i'm doing next we have cole's royal jelly hydrogel eye patches all gone my dad will be reusing this for his garden those under eye patches yeah so i apply these above eye serum and above eye cream i layer these and i wake up with this one all pruned up and my under eye area will hydrate it i really love those will i repurchase yes definitely i will one char gel this is from loxitan this is their famous almond char oil i absolutely love this it gets body spf off better than any other product any other char gel or body wash you know, uh, for your face to get SPF and makeup off, I use an oil cleanser or a cleansing balm. For your body, what do you do? A regular charger or soap won't cut it. You need something like this, an oil. So, wonderful stuff for getting off SPF from your body. Uh, will I repurchase? I already have one. I'm, I'd like not to repurchase chargels and, you know, offer soaps because there's less packaging wastage there. I don't know how far I can achieve that though. Let's see year 2020. Finally, one conditioner. Um, Super Drugs Raspberry and Macadamia Nut Conditioner. Extracts, I think this series is called, and smells amazing and leaves your hair smelling sweet and fruity as well. Very nice. Will I repurchase? I have about five or six different fragrances of this lot. Cheap conditioner for seal washing. Gets the job done, doesn't cost a bomb what's not to love it you get enough quantity for several uses and i have long hair i need a lot of product to achieve good slippage from want of a better word so yeah we'll repurchase definitely already have so 11 products done in december i have three extra in uh, november as well so that leaves me with 14 so that means that i finished 164 beauty products in 2019 that's not bad. I only aimed at 150. 164 beauty products finished. That means I've really put a dent in my stash, yeah? I mean, I've run out of quite a few products, you know, particularly skincare products and bath and body products. I've definitely run out over the year. Uh, and if I hadn't done this project plan, I would have been left with lots of things in my stash lying unused, you know? Now I, I'm actually using the things that I bought, which is the whole point of having bought them in the first place anyway and uh, you know this was great fun it it told me what i do use up and what i don't use up so i can avoid buying those things in the coming year and you know think about buying whatever i do use instead so it, it's been a you know an eye opener for me and a revelation and i will definitely be doing a project plan in 2020 as well focusing on eyeshadow who is brave enough to join me? Set your own target. It doesn't have to be eyeshadow. Just set your own target. Uh, join me. With the empty spurs, I will be allowing links, approving comments with links. So if you are doing your empty spurs, feel free to link them for your Instagram or your Twitter or Facebook or your blog or your channel. Please link your empty spurs. On the comments of my empty space that's the best way forward it's been great fun i actually began this year's empties uh, as a collab but uh, you know my fellow collaborators with the exception of alison cohen and uh, lucy zignesca uh, and shivon shivon thank you i loved seeing your facebook empties uh, and i hope you will join us next year as well um with a few exceptions among you i think most people who decided to do this have not actually completed this challenge next year i do want more support from 
each other, you know, more encouragement, more, oh, I did so many this year, oh, I'm this month, I've got to do more next month, that sort of thing, you know, you will get there, just finish this, that sort of thing. We need more encouragement and support from each other next year. So who else is going to join me uh, in next year's uh, Project Fund Challenge? Please leave your comment below. I would love to know if you're interested in joining me on my Project Fund Challenge. Put it into your stash, curb your spending, and so on. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. I must be too soon.